Hi, Eric here from PAC. Today I'm going to walk you through how to update the firmware on your AMP Pro module. Today we're updating an AP4 FD31 for the best performance in our Ford Bronco. To begin, visit pack-audio.com and on the search icon type AP4-FD31. Select the product, which will take you to the product page. Scroll down to the very bottom of the list. Here you'll see Utility version 17. Click Download to get the AMP Pro PC application. Once the file is completely downloaded, navigate to your Downloads folder and run the executable program amppro-setup.exe. You may see a window pop up stating that Windows protected your PC. Simply drag the right side of this box to make it larger so you can see the button. We want to click the underlined text that says More Info which will reveal a second button, labeled Run Anyway. Click this icon to install the AMP Pro program on your computer. Click the checkbox to agree to the license agreement, and then click the green Install icon. Once the program is fully installed, click the icon labeled Finish. In the search field of your taskbar, type AMP Pro, A -M -P -P -R -O. Then click the AMP Pro app to run it. Using a quality USB cable that supports data and charging, connect the AMP Pro module to your PC. When it's connected, the AMP will show the current firmware on the module. In this case, it's application version 17. So now we navigate back to the PAC-Audio website. We're going to scroll to the top of the list this time and select the latest firmware, which happens to be version 18, and then click Download. Return to the AMP Pro app on the PC. Select the firmware icon, then click Select File. Navigate to your Downloads folder and click on the file labeled ap4-fd31 underscore v18.puffx and select Open. The application will show the current version and the new version, and will also ask if you want to update. When the programming is complete, you should see a message indicating that the firmware has been updated. It's possible you'll get an error message like this that states, failed to restart the chip. In this case, just click OK. Then click the About tab. Disconnect the AMP Pro module from the USB cable, and then reconnect it. When reconnected, the app will show the current firmware version. In this case, we just confirmed that the module has been successfully updated to version 18. Now we're done. We can disconnect the module from the USB cable and install it into the vehicle. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.